Man, what is good, YouTube? Man, y'all already know who it is. Man, it's your boy Jay here, man. I'm back here with another video, y'all. And today, man, well, tonight, excuse me, man, we got a crazy video to talk about. Now, it seems like in today's classroom, man, we got Bezo 187 again on the roster now, man. Before we get into this crazy video, and I got a lot to say this video, man. The first thing I'm gonna just ask y'all to do real quick is to like this video and also, man, just hit that notification bell. Now, y'all know I stress that, therefore, y'all can be notified every time I drop a video. And y'all can become a part of my notification squad. So y'all just keep showing love, bro. And guess what? I'm going to keep dropping these bangers and updates for y'all, man. Y'all got me? All right. Bet, man. Basically, what we got going on, man. Bezo 187 pretty much responded to the whole situation. Now, to give y'all a whole rundown, man, pretty much NBA Youngboy is up under investigation because... According to TMZ and a lot of other sources, man, Bezo187 or somebody from his crew, somebody from his side pretty much told on NBA Youngboy from the alleged jumping that happened between the, between them two. Now, if y'all don't know, Bezo had did an interview with my guy Street Juice TV, and he pretty much might have said too much and got Youngboy in the case. Now, he didn't get Youngboy convicted, but it building the case, and it's an investigation right now. But he pretty much responded to the whole situation and said, started off on the story and said, due to being in jail, if an ego rat about something, when I woke up, I told my girl, leave the ish alone, which she did. So... Y'all better start disrespecting my mother, my kid's mother. She ain't gangster. I almost let her go with three kids and she only 22. And they put up another one said to my baby mama, the street code don't apply to her. When they come to our kids, she did what any non-street mother with instant does. And that's protect her children. And I respect her decision F the internet. And I just got a lot to say about that. He got a point. Cause like, bro, you got to also like a lot of people is, is picking young boy side saying, oh, he snitch, he snitch, which in a way he did because he got himself in that situation. He can't just run out and tell if he did tell. But a lot of people not thinking, dude already, dude already said he felt like he was betrayed. It. Then they beat him up and he was on life support for five days. He dang near lost his life. And y'all want him to just still be like, oh, no, nah, it's all good. It's all good. Now, honestly, keep in mind, when you in the streets, that's what come with it. He should have just took his lick and never came to the Internet. And once you come on the Internet, everything is public. Like, I don't understand why people be getting mad at certain people from posting stuff or bloggers putting it on Instagram. When, bro, once you bring it to the Internet, that's public information. That's their job. And it's just like, bro honestly it's a sad situation he should never brought it to the internet bringing to the internet made the situation way worse and it's like bro i can't even be so mad at the wife but like what was she supposed to do like what was she supposed to do honestly like bro that's a mother like she's a mother like she's a female like what is she supposed to do but it's a sad situation honestly like it's a sad situation man i, I just pray you know what i'm saying he ought to thank god that he living and leave the situation alone leave him alone and become something else in life because obviously this is not for him he understand the betrayal and the hurting this man but y'all let me know how y'all feel about this so let me know was he wrong for that or is he telling the truth man y'all already know who it is it's you but look at jay thank god for another day man y'all be safe man god love y'all yeah bro i'm out